What a beautiful morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, good morning. My name is Portia. Um, very welcome to Taipei. This is the very first event we host for key media across APEC to have a sneak peek over all our new coming LG and Zenfone products. So I would like to, on behalf of the team, deeply appreciate everyone spending your time with us today. And hopefully we make your day worthy. If you look around, this is the first time that we actually host an event um, off-site. This event is, uh, this venue is specially chosen to reflect the Zenbook design spirits. Later on, you will have enough time to walk around and just to sense how we present the Zen, uh, Zenbook story. And after this session, you will be transported to a special gaming zone um, in our company. And that is the place we host those world top gamer live stream their matches. So hopefully with the venue we select today, that show you what we are about to present for our new coming products. So to continue, I'd like to give a quick business recap of how we perform and with everyone's support. We have been number one in various product range motherboard, graphics card, notebook. And by the end of quarter two, 2018, for our internal <coughs> intelligence, as well as GFK IDC, we have achieved 18.8% market share worldwide. In APEC, we are especially strong. By the end of quarter two, we had 31.5% across APEC region which means one out of every three gaming notebook were Asus notebook. So thank you very much for helping us achieving this. In the Epic country, the number was significantly contributed by those key markets. And in some of the market like Indonesia, Taiwan, we even have over 50% market share. And for the rest of the market, we will catch up and to challenge the solid number one position. In the consumer notebook, we wrap up at 19% share overall in the consumer notebook. If we drill down to look at the ultra slim form factor, the high value segment, which is where our Zen book sits, we are having a solid top two. It's a very competitive market, which the gap with number one, number two, number three is probably 1% or 2% differences. But we have confidence with the product we have introduced at the Computex, the US 580. I believe you are very familiar with our screen pad by now. And also the upcoming product we are going to introduce you later. We are confident that in the second half of 2018, we will be able to challenge a solid number one position across the APEC region. The result, the market performance, came from consumer-centric design thinking. Throughout the session today, we're gonna share in more detail how the design thinking was done. With the design thinking in mind, the incredible engineering, as well as the attention to detail, as goes into every single ASUS product. And I believe that is where the end user appreciate and they buy the idea. And we, with the, uh, with the result, in the past 20 years, we actually received over 51,000 awards across the board for either superior performance against our competitors or the true innovation, like the screen pad we just brought out at the Computex. Now, I want to bring your attention, especially into the design area. That is the area we are so proud of. We actually have our designer on site. Later on, we're hoping we can answer some of your questions. Gaming, in the gaming sectors, 
we are not only differentiating ourselves with maximum performance, we also focus a lot on design. In the gaming session later, the team will talk more about the design of the performance itself. As you can see from this slide, we summarize our achievement in the past years. Zephyrus in year 2017, that was the product, I believe that, I hope that impressed you a little bit. We have received good design awards and if awards. These are very reputable international design organizations. Its successor, Strix and Hero. These are the worldwide first custom designed products for the game its owner plays for the first-person shooter or mobile. And those are appreciated and regarded by ETH Awards and Red Dot Awards. When it comes to that book, design has always at the heart of that book. 2011, we brought out US 21 and US 31. This, is our, this was our first that book um, in the world. By then, the good design Judges suggest that book is created as an art of joining craftsmanship and future technology. With this philosophy in mind, in the past six years, this is where we are at. So we have a proven track record of the ultra slim segments. Today, what we are showing you is our brand new Zenbo products, and we are hoping we can impress you even more. The success is not possible without your help in communicating Asus' strengths to our customer, which is your reader, and we appreciate all the support from the media friends, and we will strive to make good products for the coming time and to satisfy meet the expectation from the market. So without further ado, I'm going to pass the time to Andrew to talk about the Zenbook story in history so you see how it evolves and as well as our brand new Zenbook range. Just a little reminder before I go, everything you see today is the first in the world, so it's under embargo still. So everything behind your seats, these are the historical Zenbook story. So these are ready to go at any time. Anything in the cabinet, so after the presentation <coughs> section, everything in the cabinet, those are strictly under embargo. So the embargo lifted by 4 p.m. 30th of August, Taipei time. Thank you very much for your collaboration. And I'm hoping that we get some more time to catch up during the break. I'm going to pass the time to Andrew, and please do enjoy the day. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Nice to see a lot of you who I met in your countries for previous launches, and uh, good to have you here in Taipei at this special uh, event. Okay, the new Zen books we are going to present to you are an evolution of six years in product design. But to appreciate where we are today, we need to know uh, where we came from. And everyone knows that today's Zen book Everyone knows that today's Zenbook is a Su signature thin and light models. But how did the series start? Why Zen? What is the Zen in Zenbook? And I would like to take the next 15 minutes or so to quickly present to you uh, the design concepts and as well as historical models in our past that has proven the spirit of this very renowned series of notebooks. As the name implies, the Zen book is created with Zen design philosophies in mind. Every Zen book has a beautiful, minimalist design that is meant to bring a sense of calm and peace 
to the often chaotic lives of its uh, users. Every, almost every model you will see has a concentric circle pattern on its lid. This was inspired by a Zen garden where sometimes you see a drop of water cause a ripple in a pond or by the red gravel circles in the Zen garden. Zen books are now famous for the incredible balance of power and beauty. The world's most beautiful notebooks bearing the world's most powerful components. But how is every generation of Zen book born? Let's quick, take a quick look at their design process. The designers first do an in-depth study of the current fashion trends and to determine what colours and what materials will appeal to our very discerning customers. This is part of ASUS Start With People design philosophy. This then leads to a brainstorming session where the, we develop design themes into concepts that will go into the Zen books. What you actually see there is a mood board that's used by the designers who are standing at the back of the room. You can interview them about them, about this table later. And these ideas are then translated into sketches, which are used for further discussion. And through elimination and refinement, these final uh, these concepts will be used to produce a final sketch. That sketch then proceeds to be handcrafted into a physical prototype, which is then used to refine the details with the engineers. Over the last six years, how many of you have been in tech media for or in the media for six years? You remember the first Zen book, right? So every generation has made a big impression on the world of the laptop, of the laptop world, and I would like to remind all of us of some key classic models uh, for the innovation and the style that they brought into the world. We began our ZenBook journey in 2010 when we were planning the first thin and light model. It was at a time where ASUS realized that uh, laptop owners wanted something more than just a notebook. They wanted laptops and notebooks that looked more like fashion accessories than just functional devices. And at that time, our ASUS chairman, Johnny Shi, he is an ardent uh, follower of Zen philosophy. And our designers were admirers of precision engineering, in particular, timepieces, handcrafted uh, watches. <laughs> so, these two concepts were married in the design of the first Zen book. The first Zen book introduced the signature side profile that looks like the hands of a watch. And when you open it, the spoon action mimics the sweep of the, the watch hands as well. The first Zen book also introduced the circle concentric pattern that has now become the signature design of the Zen book. This was made possible by a breakthrough manufacturing process that etched the circles onto the spinning lid as it was uh, onto a spinning lid as it's on the platform. And in two years later, in 2013, we introduced a now famous glass laptop, if any of you remember the ZenBook UX301. When conceiving the UX301's design, the designers were inspired by the infinity swimming pools, or the kind of uh, pools that you find beside the side of a lake, where these pools evoke a sense of Zen-like calmness and boundlessness. As a result, the ZenBook UX301 became the world's first notebook that had a lid, a display bezel, and keyboard frame made of super strong Corning Gorilla Glass 3 to mimic the effect of the boundlessness of those infinity pools or lakeside pools that the designers were inspired by.
considering that was five years ago. It looks impressive, even by today's standards. The strong scratch-proof Gorilla Glass is long-lasting and allows the concentric circle pattern to be shown vividly <coughs> beneath its surface. The use of Gorilla Glass also allowed the designers to create a 4 millimeter thick display, which was, at the time, the thinnest in the world. The designers insisted I mention the glass keyboard frame because they're particularly proud of it. The glass keyboard frame of the UX301 is created with a special process to give it a very velvety, smooth ceramic feel. And the use of glass allows the surface of the, key, the palm rest to insulate the user's palm from temperature extremes. And, give, and it has a ceramic-like feel that is unlike any other material which you can try later at the heritage border at the back. Now in 2014, we launched the thinnest laptop in the world at the time, the UX305 ZenBook. The, Z the UX305 then went on to become the world's most awarded ZenBook. It is still today the top, the one that has won the most awards. And the most special version of the UX305 was a dazzling white ceramic coated aluminum one. To create the UX305, a new metal stamping process was used and this created an inward curved edge around the notebook and this gives it a smaller appearance as well as make the lid easier to open. The UX305 also led the industry by having, as I mentioned, the world's first ceramic coated aluminum body. As the name implies, as the name implies, a special process was used to coat ceramic particles onto the aluminum substrate of the notebook. And as you can feel later at the back, it's really weird. The notebook feels as if it's made of ceramic, but it still retains the strength of aerospace grade aluminum. And moving on to 2017, 2016, sorry. Uh, at Computex 2016, we launched the Zen Book 3, which I think most of you would remember. The Zen Book 3 series introduced the now famous royal blue and gold color scheme that has become a signature color of all our Zen books. This was created by a very advanced two phase anodization process, and when the Zen Book 13 was uh, ZenBook 3 was launched back then. It was the world's lightest 13 inch laptop at just under 1 kilogram. It is still one of the world's lightest uh, notebooks with that display size until today's ZenBook. Despite its compact size, the ZenBook 3 still manages to provide a full size keyboard, backlit keyboard, mind you, for comfortable typing. And it also came in the color tones that reflect the taste of our customers. And these are the colors that continue even to today's series of ZenBooks. To remind you of the ZenBook 3's Zen design, here's a quick video.
Coming to last year, we introduced the UX430 Zenbook. The Zenbook UX430 was the first laptop to, let me get this correct, have a nano imprint lithographically etched lid. I know it's hard to pronounce, but the process is like microchip making. It uses an advanced technique to layer multiple uh, multiple UV, it has multiple UVH layers to create a super fine concentric hairline pattern on its surface. Then that surface is cured to a glass-like finish. Again, it's really bizarre. When you look at the UX430's uh, lid, it looks like glass, but it's actually treated with this special technique to, to it's actually made of aluminum, but it's treated with this special technique to make it look like glass. In addition to the royal blue option, other colours included the very elegant rose gold and quartz grey. And now we are at 2018. Earlier this year, we launched the Zenbook S UX391, which is available in all your markets. This is the slimmest of all Zenbook models, and the S models are meant to demonstrate the pinnacle of ASUS craftsmanship and design. For the first time with this model, the team experimented with a burgundy red color. There's a same, the same shade of deep red as the name of the wine from that region. When the team began designing the UX, 391 Zenbook S. Burgundy red had become a premium luxury color in industrial design and fashion. So, to create this sensational shade of red, over 50 panels were anodized, each taking about 1 hour to 90 minutes to create the different shades so that the designers can pick the, the one that they like the best and that they felt was perfect. Here's something I personally experienced. I thought to myself, won't a brighter shade of red be more popular? And I felt that, yeah, perhaps you know, uh, a bright red would appeal to a wider audience. But the designers told me, this shade of deep burgundy red has a mature elegance, is calming and attractive. And it, ref it better reflects and is more appropriate to the Zen philosophy of the Zen book. At first, I, when I thought about it, I didn't really believe it because I thought a, a brighter red would make, be a more appropriate. But as time passed, it made sense to me. This is a more calming, more mature, more elegant shade of red that better reflects the spirit of the entire Zen book series. And the Zen book S is truly a work of art. It presents an elegant stance, especially when it's open for use. It also has the highest ergo lift hinge of all the Zenbook series to date. And when viewed from the sides, it still presents the watch hand-like elegance of the very first Zenbook uh, models. And it, in addition to the burgundy red model, there is also a deep dive blue version that some people will also find as elegant. The last Zen book I'd like to share today was just launched a few months ago at Computex 2018 and is making its way into your countries now. As most of you know, the now famous Zenbook Pro UX580 has top specs. It is that include a Hexa Core Intel i9 processor and a Pantone certified 4K display. But of course, the star feature was its signature display screen pad. It provides useful contextual controls depending on what web pages or programs that the users are on. The screen pad demonstrates the Zenbook's cutting edge of uh, cutting edge use of technology in transforming the way we use laptops. And yet as a Zenbook, the UX580 has 
to carry on the tradition of the DNA of the series. In spite of its thin, light, elegant body, it is the most powerful Zenbook ever created. To end this segment, I'd like to leave you with this haiku that I feel sums up the Zenbook series. Beauty and power, Asus Zenbook has it all to bring you balance. Okay, uh, so that ends the section about the historic uh, series of Zenbooks and the design concepts. From this segment on, I'm going to present you the new products. And I'd like to remind everyone that whatever I said uh, up to this point, you can publish. Uh, whatever I say from this point onwards is embargoed until the 30th of August at 4 p.m. Taiwan time. Okay. As you have seen, the Zenbook series is all about the balance of great beauty and great power. Today, we are proud to announce the very latest generation of this series that carry on this tradition. The new Zenbook series is comprised of, is comprised of three clamshell models and two flip convertible models. Here's an important point. All are now the world's most compact laptops for their respective screen sizes. As Zenbooks, we also feel that they're the world's most stylish laptops. The feature that makes them so compact, so small, is their four-sided nano edge. They are so thin, they make the display look, as the term then says, frameless, and give the laptops an unprecedented 95% screen-to-body ratio. In fact, the ZenBook UX, ZenBook 13 UX333 is smaller than an A4 sheet of paper. And the slightly larger 14-inch model is not much larger. It, in fact, has about the same area footprint as a sheet of A4 size paper. Both will easily fit into any briefcase or handbag. But we kept the webcam. And we kept the webcam at the top. <laughs> We decided to retain the webcam because in a survey of about 1,200 users internationally, most of them still use a webcam, 76% in fact. And of course, 80%, in fact, almost everyone we surveyed preferred the location to be at the top because they don't like people looking through their nostrils or looking at their fingers, which uh, some other laptop makers, they decided to put the webcam at the bottom edge, as you know, to save space. This is made possible by an ultra-new webcam design. This ultra-new thin webcam allows for Windows face login because it is 3D and infrared. This ultra new thin webcam is also sharper because it uses a new four lens element construction. Looking at the laptops, they are beautiful and small. What you cannot tell, however, is that they will use the yet unannounced Whiskey Lake Intel Core i series processors. Now, our embargo date is on the 30th. Okay? You all know what I mean. Please keep the embargo on it, otherwise, more than ASUS will be affected. <laughs> what I'd like to draw your attention to is that the Max Q models are. Oh, sorry. What I'd like to draw your attention to is that the models. Most of them have discrete graphics, 
either an MX50, and the 15-inch models feature a GTX 1050, and they are Max-Q certified by NVIDIA. So, this means that they must reach and provide a certain standard of performance, although the notebooks are that thin and that light. This is a very geeky ASUS feature that uh, the new ZBooks have called Fired Fan. It allows the user to choose between a mode which has maximum performance, slightly higher operating noise, or to lower the noise with slightly lower performance when doing non-processor or graphics uh, intensive tasks. The new ZBooks are also equipped with the world's fastest gigabit class Wi-Fi multi-user MU MIMO Wi-Fi. So, on compatible routers and uh, Wi-Fi infrastructures, these are able to communicate with the router simultaneously with other devices, unlike the current generation which allow only one device to access the router in queues. And in spite of their super thin, super light design, they provide users with a full suite of I.O. ports as many generations of ZenBooks before have done. But what I'd like to highlight also is that it still keeps the full-sized HDMI ports so that when you use a projector or a TV to connect to your ZenBook, you can use the ordinary, very easy to find HDMI cables instead of hunting for dongles. Any of you who are enterprise or business journalists here, Yes. The new Zen books are perfect for business and I'll show you why in the next two slides. First, they look delicate, they look beautiful, but the Zen book, new Zen books are also extremely reliable. They have been tested to meet the extremely rigorous military standard MIL810G specification. And here's a quick video of the testing that they have to go through. In addition to the 8103 military standard testing, the new ZenBooks also have TPM 2.0. Now, for enterprise customers, some need a TPM or trusted platform module that is the world's most established technology for enterprise fleet management and remote access security. It allows IT managers to have a high level of security by providing uh, secure authentication and remote user identification for internet access. So, bearing in mind that the ZenBook, the new ZenBooks have military grade reliability and TPM 2.0, this makes them ideal for enterprise or business use. And in many of your countries, a lot of these specifications are often put into notebook uh, tender specifications for companies to bid. The Zen books are now perfect for them, and now executives can have also have a touch of style. The Zen books also feature the latest generation of the Ergo Lift Hinge. As the name implies, when the lid is open, the key, the rear of the keyboard is raised a little by three degrees to provide for comfortable typing, better airflow for better cooling, and better audio as well. Even the keyboard has been redesigned. It provides accuracy with a slight key indentation, a dish. It provides comfort because the key pitch is wide, like the last few generations of ZBooks. 
and the key travel is reasonably long at 1.4 mm so that you are assured that you have struck the key. Another interesting feature is that the function key that you often have to hold and press, sorry, the function switch that you often have to hold and press function keys to change hardware parameters is now locked by default. So all you have to do is just press once and use the keys by just pressing them. No more holding of the function key. Now, the new ZenBooks also feature a new intuitive glass touchpad that is very smooth and has very good power rejection. Sounds ordinary. They have now an exclusive number pad. The small models of ZenBooks, the 13 inch and 14 inch models, feature a number pad on the touchpad. I'd like to take a bit of time to explain what this is and how it works. Now, thin and light notebooks, small notebooks, are always constrained by the inability to have a separate number pad built into their keyboard. So, there you go. The number pad is easily activated by a switch on the top right of the touchpad. It has very clear LED markings, as you can see later. And when you move your finger across the touchpad, even when the number pad is on, the system automatically senses it as a cursor movement. So there's seamless switching. However, when the number pad is off, only the switch shows and it looks like an ordinary number pad, uh, ordinary touchpad as you will see in a while. How is this made possible? The number pad uses a special five layer construction. Let's go through the layers one by one. The first layer is a black layer with the numbers cut out. This is just above the LED. This prevents light bleeding from the LED and channels the light through the number cutouts only. The next layer is a grey translucent ink layer that adds colours to the numbers. The next layer is a translucent layer with silver particles. Can anyone guess what this is for? Antibacterial. Nope. It's not on the top. Well, the translucent silver particles is so that the touchpad looks like a touchpad when the numpad is off. Uh, it sort of like shades the, the light away. Get it? <coughs> then there's an ink layer which only shows the switch so that the switch will show at all times. Yeah? And of course, the final layer is our super smooth glass layer. So this is the architecture of the new five layer super super number pad that now gives ultra thin and small laptops uses a dedicated number pad. So if you are uh, Excel uh, fanatic or you know you like doing accounting, if you're crazy, you have a number pad for to uh, you know, suit your fetish. <laughs> okay, in summary, here are the shared special features of all the new Zen books. Some have them, uh, most of them have all the features that I've mentioned. I'll give you a few uh, seconds to photograph this. So my session is coming to an end. I hope the new Zen books, in, what I've told you about the new Zen books impress you. And I hope that when you actually see them, you'll be even more impressed. However, oh, yeah. hey, here's my closing line, I don't want to spoil it. It doesn't matter what features or components we put into a Zen book, a Zen book must move the soul when you look at it. It must be the world's most stylish, most beautiful laptop. And here's a video that I'm going to show to, that shows off its design and you guys are going to be the world's first journalist
to see this video. Thank you very much and enjoy this video. Are we making your time worthy? So, now comes the exciting time. Uh, we're going to send everyone to the little room to see the new product we just showcased that Andrew just presented. But before we go, just a little reminder that all the new product in the cabinet, there is a bubble. So hopefully um, everyone work with us and then next time you can still see me and Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> if there has any questions you want to know about the products or about the design or about the business status, feel free to turn to me or Andrew will be here for the rest of the day. And we're going to divide the group into four. Um, your PR manager will show you to your group and please do enjoy the time. Later on we will have a show break, uh, we will have a lunch break, okay? yeah. so take your time and enjoy the, 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 the device. Thank you very much.